Ok, we are ready for roughing waterline. So, I click new, roughing waterline, and next I'm going to select the tool I'm going to use. Here is the 16mm cylindrical mill I will use for this operation. So, I select the tool and press run. So, turn on the toolpath visibility and what we can see here is that uh, I didn't uh, set any job assignment for this operation and roughing waterline is uh, applied to all part, uh, the whole part. I don't need this and uh, I want to machine only inside of this pocket. So I will double click on this contour. Okay. Uh, in order to select the contour, I need to turn on the object filter which allows to select the edges of the model. Okay, double click and go to job assignment in roughing waterline and press job zone. So reset, run. As you can see now, the job zone is now only inside of this contour, so all the uh, the, the all the um, toolpath outside of this contour has disappeared. So next, what I'm going to do is to adjust strategy. I go to set strategy um, tab. Uh, in roughing waterline and the, what I'm going to do is uh, select depth step I'm not going to select it in millimeters I want this uh, pocket to be uh, machined into steps so press run calculate that's it and uh, the last thing I'm going to do is go to parameters and select radial stock I want to leave the stock on the vertical uh, walls of this pocket for finish machining so i push input one millimeter so one millimeter stock is okay for me and press reset run that's it as you can see now the stock on the uh, walls is present so we are ready for the next operation